I'm Mary Zatina, and this is Oakwood's Champions of Care. Today, we're talking about weight loss, and now we're going to talk about one option for weight loss, bariatric surgery. With us in the studio today is Dr. Daniel Bacall. Welcome, Dr. Bacall. Thank you very much for having me. Dr. Bacall, you are a board-certified general surgeon, and you're head of the Oakwood Bariatric Options Program. Is that correct? That's correct. Now, when a large person, maybe we'll use the term obese, has tried a lot of measures uh, to lose weight and they still fail, there are surgical options. What are the different surgical options available to that person? First, we need to be sure that the patient really has tried to lose the weight medically or at least has put a good effort into that. Then we need to be sure that the patient meets criteria designed by the National Institute of Health to have surgery. That's criteria where your body mass index is over 40 or your body mass index is over 35 and you have medical problems related to being obese or to being severely overweight. Once we know that, we are actually going to invite the patient to, to look at the different options that we have to lose weight. In general, surgeries are classified as restrictive surgeries. That means it restricts how much food you can eat. Or malabsorptive surgery, that means that some of the food you eat will not be absorbed, therefore you're going to lose weight. There is also some combination of the surgery. The most classic surgeries will be the gastric banding, which will include what we, a lot of people refer as lap band, mm -hmm, but it that. also includes another surgery, another brand that is the realized band. Uh, the other surgeries will be the gastric sleeve, which is currently growing in popularity. And the last surgery that is very commonly used and the one most commonly used in the United States is the gastric bypass. Now, what is the gastric sleeve? I don't believe I've heard about that one. In the gastric sleeve, basically, we are partitioning the stomach. We divide the stomach and we take about 70 to 80 percent of the stomach away that leave your stomach, instead of being the volume of the size of a football over one liter, it will leave you with a stomach that is about 100 to 150 mLs in capacity. Yeah, then you liters. can eat 100 milliliters in capacity. Then you will be able to eat much less than what you eating, were eating before the before surgery. Before feeling full. You are going to feel full really fast, and that's the way likely it works. And at the Oakwood Bariatric Options Program, which of these procedures um, are most of the patients choosing? Or do, do you choose? Does the patient choose? How does that work? We invite all the patients to come to a meeting where we explain the three surgeries, we explain the risks, we explain the complications, and we bring the patients then to the office to further learn about each one of the uh, surgeries. In my personal opinion, a lot of the patients are choosing the gastric bypass because it has been longer around and the results has been uh, more established than with the other two surgeries. Hmm. Now you mentioned your patients. We uh, sent the Oakwood Champions of Care video team to talk with some of your patients and your nurse, Terry Marintet, to understand the program from their perspective. Let's take a look at that video now. Extra pounds make a whole lot of health problems for people. High blood pressure, diabetes type 2, even cancer can be caused by obesity. I had diabetes, I had high blood pressure. Knee pain, I have meniscal tears in my right knee. Well, my diabetes was out of control. They were throwing everything in the book at it. The National Institute of Health says patients must have a body mass index of 40. This is typically about 100 pounds overweight. Or a body mass index of 35 with significant comorbidities, meaning high blood pressure, sleep apnea, or diabetes type 2. Before I considered surgery, my top weight was 305 pounds. When I started this journey with Dr. Bacall, um, I weighed 337. I weighed 324 pounds. And patients must have tried other forms of dieting. I did Weight Watchers, uh, the Atkins diet. After several attempts for so many years of you know losing and gaining back, I just got tired and I just said, you know, it's more of a, yeah, surgery is kind of scary because of the risk, but I was more scared of being overweight for so long. I've 
suffered with weight loss or being heavy my whole life from childhood all the way up. Surgery cannot be the first option. It needs to be something that patients have thought about. Many studies have shown that diabetes has been reduced, that high blood pressure goes away, that patients overall get healthier. Today my diabetes is completely under control. My blood sugar levels are all normal. My high blood pressure and cholesterol are no longer a factor. I don't have either one of them. Today my health is wonderful. I have no signs of type 2 diabetes. I have no high blood pressure. People usually have been told horror stories, have usually been told the bad things about bariatric surgery. We like them to get the facts. So we want them to come to a free information session, talk to the doctors, talk to the dietitian, talk to the nurse, and learn for themselves exactly what's going to happen. We give them information. We send information to their primary care doctor. They make an appointment to see the surgeon of their choice and then we help them. We give them uh, instructions, six hours of instruction with the nurse and the dietitian. We make sure that they're ready for surgery physically and mentally. Met with a dietitian. There were several classes before we got operated on. Um, they went over all the details of the procedure, uh, what you could expect pre-op, post-op and going on into the future. But we don't end there. Postoperatively, we support them with the dietitian and the nurse afterwards at each and every visit, and we have a monthly support group. We also have a phone line. Yeah, I've called Terry several times <laughs> with questions, um, and she was always there to answer. Um, the dietitian, I mean, everybody was great. So we try to help them every way we can. Today, my weight is 179. I lost uh, about 155 pounds. It took about a year and four months. Today I'm under 200 pounds. I couldn't have asked for anything more. My top weight was 278 pounds. I lost approximately 140 pounds and I've kept it off for the past 13 years. I love seeing other patients accomplish what I've accomplished and nothing makes me happier than to see my patients share their success stories. The biggest thing is I feel like I've added 10 years to my life. This past December, I went back hunting with a group of friends and I was able to, for the first time in a long time, just walk through the woods, climb the tree, and do the things that I used to be able to do. I can go walk into any store now and buy clothes off of a rack. I mean, it's, it's wonderful. People tell me I walk with a lot more confidence. Um, you know, I. I'm, I don't mind having my picture taken. I'm starring in my own life now. Now I, mean, I can go up and down stairs without being out of breath. My old pants were a size 24, now I'm a size 810, so I can actually fit in one of the legs of my pants. My experience with Oakwood Bariatric has been very good, very supportive. Um, I, I'm happy that I chose Dr. Bacall. Oakwood's bariatric program and their team are first class and I would recommend them to anybody. I would recommend the surgery to anybody, and if anybody was gonna do it, I would have to tell them they need to come to Oakwood. Dr. Bacall, <laughs> Terry, and the other, all the other staff were really great. It was the right option for me. Dr. Bacall, that was a fabulous testimonial to bariatric surgery. Now, in the video, I learned that you have free informational sessions. What, tell me about those. All the patients that are interested in coming to Oakwood for their surgery or to know even more about surgery, they can register online or in the Oakwood website or they can call the helpline and through that get all the information. We are there, Terry, our nurse coordinator, our uh, dietitian, Lindsay, and myself will explain to them about all the surgeries, all the procedures, all the risks and how to get uh, to the surgery. And that class is totally free, and anyone can come to it before making, they're not, they're not making a commitment to anything, they're no, just learning about nobody's it. Nobody's making a commitment. Any, of, any person that is interested can register, and they can just come, and again, there is no commitment or any payment that they have to do or any other hidden agendas behind that. Great. Dr. Bacall, when we come back from a short break, I want to ask you more questions about the relationship between weight and health, and maybe you'll give a few of us more reasons to talk about weight loss options. So we'll be right back. Thank you.